Yeah, Chris at a baseball game. I'm like, he's just grilling it up. It's great. Good to YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Beer Hill. Review. Today Move we are your drinking. fucking beer. Today we are drinking from the Lake Placid Brewing Company, Lake Pla Placid IPA India Pale Ale. Um, like my IPAs. Owned and brewed by the Matt Brewing Company, who owns Saranac and a bunch of others. Uh, beer Advocate is where we had to find the ABV of this, only because the Saranac and Matt Brewing Company websites are garbage. But it's at 6.8, whether or not it really is 6.8, I don't know. One of you will most likely tell me if we're wrong. Here you go, read that back panel, I thought right. you'd enjoy that. India Pale Ale, like Placid IPA, is deep copper in color and brimming with hops. From the first sniff to the final taste, balanced by just a touch of melty sweetness. Originally brewed as a winter seasonal, it quickly earned a place in our permanent lineup and is our so most award-winning brew. Here's to hops. Looks, I, I'm liking the sound of it. I like, I like Saranac's IPAs. So, if this is anything like Saranac's IPA, which is really good, and they make their uh, double IPA as well, which I fucking love. I love their double IPA. I think it's there, though. Yeah, it's probably there. Oh, that's yeah. the color you need right there. Yeah. That's the guy. Kind of, this is the kind of color you kill Buccio over right there. That's right. Mm, that that's a Selma Hayek sort of tone. Mm. I'm liking that. Me too. Everything about that. All right. Mm. So the color, they said deep copper. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, like a Selma Hayek nice sort of like Desperado, let's kill Buccio sort of way. The head isn't quite white. It's a little off-white, like eggshell-ish. Yep. Yep. A little bit. Smell... Your average, uh, your average American pale ale smells. Yeah, it... That's disappointing. I'm not really... And it's not that you're not getting hops, because I am getting the hops, it's just you're not getting anything special. You're getting your, your average hops that you'd expect in these type of brews. Like Warrior? Are we getting Warrior? Well, either... I, I... It doesn't smell... We're not getting any shit enough to be Warrior? For sure. Kind of smells more like a Cascade hop to me. Either way, it smells very light. Yeah. It does not smell like Citrusy, super Citrusy, a little bit of pine, a little bit of cedar. Not not anything really, really spectacular on the nose. Hopefully it's a shapeshifter. Hopefully it's a shapeshifter. I, I would, it. before we taste this, the only thing I'd like to say is, when you're talking about loads of hops, you didn't really balance it with just a touch <laughs> of multi sweetness. That doesn't balance it. Yeah. Anyway. Just a touch of multi sweetness. Let's try it. It actually is a well-balanced beer, though. Um, is it just me, or there seems to be more malt than hops in here? <laughs> a touch. Like, just I'm a getting touch. I'm getting a malty sweetness, like, right away. The first pull on this, you get malt. You get, like, a malty sweetness. Like a caramel little, malt. Yeah, and you get, like, a little bitterness from the hops, but other than that, I don't think this is an IPA. Um... Well, this would be. What would you would you say? This is more of an APA. Because I'm definitely tasting like well, the malt hits, right off the start. It hits all the IPA characteristics. It just doesn't. It doesn't Does hit it? with. It doesn't hit with as much hops as I would expect. But again, the same thing we've talked about. One with where we're picking these up, and two with hops in general. Yeah. You never know how long they've sat on the shelf and certain hops yeah. lose their flavors after a certain amount of time. And Saranac's other Saranac's other IPAs are very much IPAs. Like they are very much IPAs. You taste them and you're like, that's a fucking IPA. This does not taste like an IPA at all. I'm not getting an IPA because I'm getting more malt than I am hops. Which is which is wrong. See I'm getting all the hops but they're very, very mellow. I am This I'm is like sure a Pakistan pale ale. It's like the exact opposite. I mean, the you're, you're getting the cedary hops, you're getting the, the citrusy hops, but they're still cut by that caramel flavor. Yeah, that caramel flavor is is just tremendous on the front end. And it gives it a strange sweetness that I'm not expecting from an IPA. Right? You're not expecting that sort of thing from an IPA. So when you drink it, you're all of a sudden, you're like, whoa, this is, this is I should, yeah, this is a Benedict Arnold beer. It's not an IPA at all. Now remember, it's their most award-winning beer. And, again, you don't know how long these have sat, so yeah. you don't know how the hops have... It is very possible. Out. Because of how much malt you are getting, I'm going to go with you. I think that's, in fact, the truth. There's so much malt on the front end, there's no way. There's no way that this is how it was tasting when it was bought. Truthfully, if you're going to make an IPA, and I say this all the time now, 
can, can your IPAs. Your, can if you can it's... your IPAs, they're good for an extra five, six months. Yeah. Longer than they would be bottled. Can that shit. But um, I'm going to give it a double mark. I'm going to give it a mark as a beer on its own and as an IPA. With the way it tastes right now. Yeah. As an IPA, I'm giving it like a four. I'm um, not going that high. I refuse as a beer on its own, I'd give it a 6.5. I would drink it again. For me, as an IPA, I'm not going to go that high because literally this does not taste like an IPA. It is, it, it is just a Benedict Arnold. It is more of a malt beer than it is anything else. And... Like, I'm going to give it probably a 2, 2.5, because, like, as an IPA, it's just not an IPA. It's just ridiculous. As a beer, though, it is actually not that bad. The bitterness is a little bit of a put-off on the back end. However, that, like, that caramel malt at the front, I actually, I really enjoy that. I think that caramel malt gives it a nice, it seems to be balanced the other way, where it's like, you know, we've, we've, we've put loads of malt sweetness in this, and then we balanced it with just a touch of hops. Which still, that's not how balance works, but either way, I, I still like it. Yeah, I go 6.5, too. I, I, actually, I actually don't mind it. Um, the label's not all that great, you know. Meh, the label's kind of fuzzy and not really something that's good. Guys. But, eh, Bye. what are you going to do?